What is the empirical formula for ethyl fluoride if the compound contains 49.97% carbon, 10.51% hydrogen, and 39.52% fluorine by mass? There is a step-by-step -step way of solving these types of problems to make them more simple, and the first thing we can do is assume that we have 100 grams of ethyl fluoride. And this makes it simple because if we know that 49.97% of this 100 grams is carbon, we have 49.97 grams of carbon. Similarly, we have 10.51 grams of hydrogen and 39.52 grams of fluorine. The next thing we can do is convert each of these components in grams to moles. And you'll see in the third step why this is so important. So we can start by taking 49.97 grams of carbon and using a conversion factor. We know that one mole of carbon consists of 12 grams of carbon, and this can be found on the periodic table. And we know that that means we have 4.164 moles of carbon based on our 100 gram assumption. Similarly, we can do this for hydrogen. So for every one mole of hydrogen, we have about one gram of hydrogen, and therefore we have about 10.51 moles of hydrogen. And we can also lastly do this for fluorine, and we get that we have 2.08 moles of fluorine. The next step is we're going to divide each of these by the lowest number of moles we have calculated to create ratios. So for example, we can take our 4.164 moles of carbon that we calculated, and the lowest number of moles is 2.08 moles of fluorine. So we can divide by 2.08 moles of fluorine to get that we have about two moles of carbon for every mole of fluorine. In a similar way, we can take 10.51 moles of hydrogen, divide by the lowest number of moles we calculated, which is 2.08 moles of fluorine, and we get we have about five moles of hydrogen for every mole of fluorine. And we can do this for fluorine itself but we are just going to get that we have one mole of fluorine per mole of fluorine, so this step is not necessary to do. So the reason we converted from grams to moles is because these ratios will allow us to find our empirical formula. And because they're ratios, it doesn't matter the amount of grams we assume. It will be the same ratio regardless of what we assume. So based on these ratios, we know that for every mole of fluorine, we have two moles of carbon and five moles of hydrogen. And this is the empirical formula.